Welcome back everybody, this is Waze back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you Node.js file system module. Allows you to read files, create files, update, delete files, and rename files. We're going to take a look at how do we do all of these operations using Node.js file system module. First of all, I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to say test.txt file. This file will be used to read and also we're going to be writing to this file. So we're going to start by just writing a simple text here. Okay, I'm going to read this file now using JavaScript and Node.js file system module. So first of all, we're going to have to import that. So the way you import it, create a const variable and use require keyword and then just require fs. So once we have access to fs, we can use this to read files. The function we're going to be using is going to be read files on fs. So type fs.read file and this will take two things, part to the file and then the callback function. So part to the file would be simple. It's just a test.txt file and then it's going to take a callback function. So error and data. And I'm going to simply log to the console data dot to string. Okay. Now if I run this code on the terminal, so let's save this file and make sure that we save this file as well. Now I'm going to use node and I'm going to use read files.js enter. And there you go. You can see that we are able to log the text from text.txt file, not text, but test.txt file. So you can read files using FS. You can also create new files. So now let's take a look at how do we create new file. I'm going to use a function called append file, which basically is going to create a new file. Also, we can write content to that file using this function. So we can say fs dot append file. And first of all, it takes the file name. So that would be new text dot txt file. And then the content if we want to write. So that's the string unit eight array. So here it says hello world. And then it's going to take a callback function and only take a parameter error. So if there is an error, then we can log that. So I'll say if error, then we can log that to the console. Okay. So now I'm going to just run this code. And you will see a new file will be created, new text.txt file. And here we got the content there as well. It says hello world. Next up, we're going to take a look at how do we create a new empty file using open method. So basically, if you want to create just an empty file, not uh, don't want to write any content to it. So we can simply use another function. So I'm just going to comment this out. And also we can comment this line, these two lines out as well. Now we're going to use another fs.open method. And this method will take the file name. So I'll just say empty.txt. And then it's going to take a flag, which is going to be in this case w. And then the callback function. We can just say file. And then we can say simply if there is an error, then we can throw error. Otherwise, we can just log to the console saying file created. Okay, simple. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly simple to create read files using Node.js. So let me go and run this file again. And let's say it's file created and we can see that there's an empty .txt file there. Cool. So we are able to uh, create empty files, create file with text in it. We'll also be able to read files. Fairly simple, right? Next up, we are going to take a look at how do we create a new file using write file method. 
it's kind of same thing but there's a technical differences here so the file write methods replaces the specified file and the content if it exists if the file does not exist it will basically create a new file and then it will just you know write a content for it so i'm going to change this to write file now this file exists and i'm going to change the content here so say new content to be overridden okay maybe i've got the wrong spelling there okay so i'm going to save the file and we are going to take a look at this empty.txt file right so in empty.txt file it's going to create this content now if i go and just write a gibberish there and save this as well it's no longer empty but if I run the code now, you will see it says file created. And if we go to the empty file, it says new content to be overridden. So it replaces the file specified if it exists. If it doesn't exist, it will create one and write a content to it. Now we're going to take a look at how do we update files. I want to go through very fast to this tutorial, not a very long tutorial. Uh, it's just going to show you simple functions that you can basically do file manipulation uh, in Node.js. It's so easy. All right, so now let's just say we are going to append some content to our empty.txt file. So it says new content to be written. I'm going to, you know, add in the line there and says, uh, can we please say this is no longer empty file? So we can do that by using a method append file. So it's fs.append file. And then I'm going to specify the part for the file. So I'm going to say empty.txt file. And then it's going to take a content. So I'll say, oops, let's go to that line. Now I'm going to say this file is no longer empty. Okay. And then it's going to take a callback function and we can just catch for an error so it's if error exists then we can throw error otherwise we can just say console.log and we can say content appended and there has to be a comma here that's what the error is now let's run the file and now he says content appended we take a look at the empty documents file and there you go. It says this file is no longer empty or oh, made a mistake there. So it should be no longer empty. Now, if I want to write that to a new line, I can do probably escape sequence there. Let's save and run that. And then we'll take a look at the empty file and we get to go to, uh, we get to write this to a new line. Okay, next we take a look at how do we delete files using a node.js. So let me just go and delete this new text.txt file. So let's just comment this out. And then we're going to use fs.unlink function. And this is going to take a file that we want to delete. So let's just say new test.txt file, we delete that. Under the callback function, just simply an error. We can say if error exists, then just throw an error. Otherwise, just say console.log file deleted. Now let's go to node and just say read files.js file. And it says file deleted, and we see the file is gone. The last operation that I want to show you in this video would be a renaming file using Node.js. So I'm going to use fs.rename function. And then it will take two parameters, old part and then the new part and then the callback function. So it's fairly simple. What we need to do is let's just say change empty file .txt to not empty dot txt callback function simple check for an error so if there is an error we can just throw error otherwise we're gonna just say 
file renamed. Okay, so now let's go to terminal. I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna use node file read file read file.js run and it says file renamed and now you can see not empty.txt file is there so it renamed that file uh, this was a tutorial of file system module available in node.js you can do pretty much a lot of things with it for example i want to give you a couple of uh, assignments or i would say to some code to try out uh, write a function or write a code which will help you to sort out all the files and rename that for example if you have a file uh, images file movie file and text files if you want to sort them into each folder for example i'll have a directory here which will have all the files to that directory and then i'll have a directory which will have all the images file so for example the document folder or sorry not document but download folder is usually very clutter if i want to organize these files into specific folders um, i would highly recommend to give it a shot and write a code which will do that for you hope you liked the video subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one cheers